Hello, it's me again, and I'll talk about stigmatization of mental illnesses. First of all, uh, when I got sick, I encountered isolation from people. Uh, when I was in the mental hospital, I encountered uh, but, uh, some patronizing approach when uh, people uh, uh, shrinks and uh, nurses wanted to control me all the time, and uh, it was uh, quite uh, annoying, and uh, I felt uh, inferior. Uh, though people in the mental hospital were nice, but uh, I uh, felt that uh, we are not like others and uh, we are too controlled and uh, not prohibited to do many things. Later, when I left the hospital, I uh, started to conceal things. I didn't want uh, people to know that I was uh, treated for a mental illness, especially schizophrenia. But some, somehow uh, my relatives and uh, friends uh, learned about it and uh, uh, some people started to avoid me. Uh, I felt uh, very isola much isolated and uh, it uh, hurt my heart that uh, people uh, never treated me uh, like an equal person but uh, just like uh, some dangerous uh, thing. Uh, when uh, I tried to get acquainted to people online, I often told them about my illness and uh, after that some people blocked me, they blocked my accounts because they uh, learned about me that I have schizophrenia and uh, chronic delusional disorder and so on. Mm. Later, uh, when I went uh, to one uh, rock forum, it was a Rachel Ru. I uh, encountered uh, cyberbullying. Uh, I told about my illness there, and uh, people uh, treated me in a rude way. They abused and insulted me, started to troll me, uh, they uh, threatened me just for fun. They. Uh, it it going, was going on for about uh, four months or more. Uh, and uh, even uh, continued later uh, for two years. They made a smiley with my face and uh, banned me on that forum for many times. They didn't want me to have an account because uh, uh, they considered me dangerous and uh, some people, uh, when I talked to them in, in a friendly way, uh, we uh, had uh, quite pleasant chats online, but they told me that I'm dangerous and uh, they don't know what to expect from me. I might knife them, kill them with a knife or something like that. Uh, then uh, later I uh, started to meet uh, some people from that forum uh, of, of, of offline in real life and uh, it uh, turned out to be strange too because uh, they seemed to be friendly, but later they blocked my accounts uh, after meeting in real life and told me that they don't know what to expect from me, that I'm unpredictable, and uh, it seemed uh, they didn't uh, really want to be friends, but they uh, just wanted to study me uh, to see what I'm like, what, what are the mentally ill people are, are like. Uh, I had some relationship uh, with uh, uh, two of them, but it uh, didn't uh, it uh, didn't turn out uh, a good way because uh, um, people just used me for sex because uh, they saw I was manic and in a manic state uh, they lured me to have sex uh, or sometimes uh, they tried to be friends but. Uh, they couldn't accept my illness. They uh, told me I'm, I'm unpredictable, and uh, uh, they don't, and uh, that I require too much f from them, require too much care, and they didn't want to take care of me. Uh, sometimes it's uh, strange to try so much uh, to be friends with people and uh, to encounter so much bullying and. Uh, 
uh, to get uh, even more insulated in the end. Mm. For two years I've been meeting people from that forum and uh, became even more isolated. I found only one true friend there and that friend was a uh, schizophrenic too. So that's why he understood me well and uh, was truly a friend. It's uh, quite sad that uh, mental health uh, stigma exists and uh, it ruins people's lives so much. Sometimes I acquainted uh, with stigma when uh, I was uh, refused some jobs because people uh, learned about my past, that I was in the mental hospital for many times, and they uh, didn't want to have uh, any anything in common with me. So it uh, influenced my life uh, in a bad way. That... Uh, so, well, stigmatization of uh, schizophrenia and of uh, any mental illness too, it's an awful thing. Uh, during the, that uh, chasing on forum and uh, trolling, I felt awful. People uh, um, created a topic about me and uh, now it has about uh, 100 pages. They mocked me there. And uh, I felt very uh, bad uh, reading uh, bad things about me every day. So I felt suicidal. And uh, a year ago, I even wanted to take my own life because I felt uh, <coughs> too desperate, uh, especially because uh, a man who bullied me, I rather liked him. I almost fell in love with him. And it was uh, so wrong, I let uh, good feelings into my heart and I let uh, him hurt me. It was a, a, a wrong thing to do. I shouldn't uh, give so much importance to that forum and uh, to people there. But I really tried to be friends with them. But they didn't want to be friends, <coughs> except uh, one or two people. And now I try to let go of that situation. I'm not suicidal anymore. I uh, have my own life, try to find some uh, job that I would like to do, try to uh, have uh, other meaningful activities in life and uh, try not to think uh, about those people who did me wrong and uh, caused me so much hurt. So I, I can say that uh, Mental health stigma uh, is uh, so awful, it uh, ruins uh, our uh, right perception of reality. We start to consider our, ourselves as uh, inferior, as some animals, as, as if it's uh, a right thing that uh, others mock us and uh, treat us like we are just funny creatures. And uh, it's awful that I had such a, a distorted image of myself. And now I'm trying to uh, trying to get better and uh, to perceive myself as a just as a person uh, and uh, to love myself more. And uh, I try to uh, rearrange my life and uh, to forget those people who did me wrong. So that's all I wanted to say about uh, stigmatization.